So today I decided that I needed to go for a walk more than anything else and I might just as well, I thought, show you a bit of the countryside around where I live. And that's due north right there, so when that bit of the sky starts getting dark again we'll have to run for it because um, I went out just after it had stopped raining rather heavily, um, maybe for 15 minutes or something like that. And so that is the other way, that's due south, and there's the um, s sort of, yeah, storm cloud, not really, the leftover edge of the rain clouds that uh, has passed over us right there. So. This walk I tend to do when my head's all clogged up, which it is at the, mo at the moment. I, um, yeah, I suppose I slept really well, <laughs> but um, then it takes me an age and a half to get my brain and my life back together again. You know how that feels, right? It's just uh, a never-ending business of uh, the parts of me that are still complaining about things that we've done or things that we haven't done on emotional stuff with, you know, last Saturday my husband and I celebrated. We have been married for 31 years, which is uh, quite a reason to celebrate, right? Um, so we went to Leiden, which is a really nice town, old stuff, loads of people, not that, not as many as I was afraid, but still uh, a very crowded day for what I am used to, millions, and taking the train to get there, first the bus, then the train, then another train, then walking through the town in order to get to the museum of um, archaeology, I think it was, yes, an archaeological, archaeological, bleh, archaeological museum that we went to of uh, history of um, Roman finds, prehistoric finds, that type of stuff that we've, uh, you know, hadn't visited before. So it was cool. We saw some Roman shrines of uh, the only Dutch goddess that we have, the goddess, goddess Nehalenia. And uh, it's really weird because there's only Roman shrines left. There's no local shrines or any native um, information about her. So no, no text or writing or any of it. So that's a bit weird. I always think this is a rather nice path right there. We'll turn left here for a bit. And I'll just uh, drag you guys along for a couple more minutes while I try and sort my brain out, I suppose. So, yeah, visiting those shrines was pretty interesting. I felt that you could sort of still tell they were sacred objects, you know? Like, I was a bit more in awe of them than I expected to be, so... It was rather nice. It was all, it felt really positive and quiet and, you know, peaceful, really. Which is what I tend to feel in the context of, uh, or being close to ancient holy objects, whether they're Christian or pagan to me. They tend to sort of bring me back to, uh, I don't know, a perception of uh, something larger than myself, I suppose. So that was cool. And after that, we walked through this town for a bit, in the old part of the town, and we um, went into a bookshop and I got myself the Ocean Oracle, all 200 cards of them. Good golly, that's going to be a lot of work. And I've tried to work with them a bit and I will do um, probably a deck interview once I get back from this walk um, on, the, on the tube so you can see what happens right there. 
okay? It is in Dutch, so I'll we'll have to be doing a bit of translating on and off, but uh, they're really pretty cards. They're small cards, but there's a lot of them. So, I don't know. I uh, <laughs> It's really fabulous because it's nature, so I love it. I love the images. It's all really well made, and it's, um, I suppose, very inviting to work with as well. Um, so far I have done a couple of drawers and they've all turned out to be, you know, as, as they tend to, to be rather accurate. So I intend to uh, do this deck interview later on and then we'll uh, see where that takes us and see whether we can also maybe incorporate it into a spread with other decks, which would be nice. I had just, just only just gotten used to my Sasrobito deck a bit, um, but maybe they will go well, together really well, right? So that would be nice. So we'll see about that in a bit. And um, yeah, otherwise, you know, I suppose I am still rather tired and in dire need of oxygen. So maybe, you know, the view of these trees up here will inspire you to shut down the YouTube and go out for yourself as well. So there you go and I will be seeing you very shortly. Thank you for watching.